case one of us gets shot. <laughs> right? Evidence. If anybody finds this, I think we've been filming this upside down the entire time. I don't know, but hopefully we can fix it in editing. I'm so scared. There's a guy over there cockadoodle doing. It's Drewski McGillicuddy's Found in the Wild. Into the Wild edition? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Hopefully, uh, this will work. I got my air conditioner on. Hopefully, you can hear me. We're going out into the wild! We're gonna go out into the wild, everybody, and it's gonna be fun. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. It's probably gonna be a long video, so hopefully uh, you got nothing better to do than sit here and watch it. We're gonna make some stops along the way. We're gonna we're gonna stop at the dent schoolhouse. I gotta go fill out my paperwork for this upcoming season, even though I'm kind of getting too old for this shit. But uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so uh, we'll see you. We'll see you on the road. There's some, there's some corn. Well, I'm gonna wreck. We're gonna get going. I don't want you to look at my uh, porch because it's a, it's, a, it's a goddamn wreck. But yeah, look, I live in a, I live in a little black house in a white neighborhood. What do you think about that? Uh, but then I got a white truck. Like, what, what kind of sense does that make? Anyway, I'm headed over to meet Sarah at the Dent Schoolhouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, they're not gonna let me. Uh, go around my room like I wanted to show you my room but uh, apparently uh, they're using it for Christmas storage so we'll see what I can show you when I get there uh, but I'm in a hurry so I'm not gonna film while I'm driving uh, so yeah hey deal with it you know all right everybody I'm here <laughs> yeah there it is let's look at it huh what do you think there's the dent schoolhouse up close and personal. It's hot as shit outside. Anyway, let's let's see if the let's see if the doors open. Hey, let me in, you sons of bitches! I guess I'll have to use the secret passageway. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll film something. Maybe we won't. You never know. You never know. I don't know what. None of the owners are here. So, anyway, maybe we'll see you at the arcade. Okay, so this is the makeup room. This is where all the magic happens. This is where they make all the monsters. Uh, we have all these fancy... Here's Charlie. Here's all the Charlie masks. And then we got these classic... Classic type Halloween masks. That align the walls. Isn't that fun? See, I used to have that. I used to have him. Oh, look, it's the Predator. Yeah. So, there it is. There it is. That's the makeup room. Did you hit record? Yes, go ahead. Are you sure? I think. Jeez. Wait, look at it real quick. Follow me, follow me. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Now follow me. Now keep it art. Yeah, I want you to be artistic. You gotta keep up with me. I don't want the camera shaking. Jesus Christ, what do they got down here? Alright, maybe we should just turn it off. Just turn it off. Kind of, it's spooky. Well, I want you to stand at the top of the steps, so it's gonna... But yeah, shine your flashlight on me. Or here, give me your flashlight. <laughs> Alright, is it recording? Can you see yep. me? Is it creepy? Yep. Hey everybody! This is where I used to stand back when I was allowed to be scary. Now they want me to tone it down a little bit, so I'm in this room that I'm not allowed to show you. But normally, back in the day, I'd stand here at the bottom of the steps and people would be too afraid to come down and then I'd walk away real slow like. Ah, what the fuck is that? Okay. Okay. All right, everybody, can you see me? Can you see me? Look at this. My fiance, my good friend Maggie, and my good friend Alicia helped build all of this. This is the only room I'm gonna show you. I'm sorry, this is the only room I'm gonna show you because there's shit everywhere. They, they've been slacking apparently that they're, uh, they're 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 remodeling 35 percent of the place they remodel 35 percent of the place every year they just made this room last year come here let's show them the big old scary guy yeah so basically there's this big old scary guy he's just there to distract you but there's a girl levitating on this table here and then here here back up back up turn go away go away don't look at me now <laughs> 
Don't look at me now. All right, ready? I'm gonna not. Right. Look at me, I'm scared. <laughs> and that's what they do. Uh, at least that's what, I mean, I don't know. You can turn that off now. I figure, what the hell? Might as well get the clown room. Look how scary it is. He got a bag on his head. Uh, garbage bags! Ah! Look, check this out though. We got cotton candy cocoons. These are people. This yep. is this used to be people. I used to hide in here. And then we got these guys. It is hot as shit in here. I don't know how long this is gonna be. I guess I can like Fast forward certain spots. You can go ahead and stop for now. When the hell's the last time you went down here? Last year. I don't. I don't remember I don't this know part which though. Way to go. I don't remember this being here. I don't know. What... Oh, oh my God! It's a ghost! <laughs> Alright, that's good enough. You know, you people don't get no more than that. Hey everybody, how's this look? Or should I just hold it in my goddamn hand? Don't pay any attention to the mess in this car. Or, you know, let's just leave the hatch open too. Because that's how you drop. If I use my back facing camera, I'm going to have stupid sun glares. But anyway, we're on our way to the mall. Uh, so I wanted to do some of these uh, discussion topics. Hopefully I don't get car sick doing this. I, I hate reading while I'm doing uh, doing stuff, okay? Like, you know. Ah! Bitches over here doing donuts and shit. Anyway, Teddy Brown. Teddy Brown says, who is your all-time favorite wrestler and were you more WCW or WWF? Well, uh, that's more of a Q&A question. This isn't a Q&A, but yeah. Let's talk about wrestling and the state that it's in. I was always a WWF guy. I uh, used to switch back and forth every once in a while to WCW Nitro, but uh, I never really, never really liked the WCW that much. Now that it's over and done with, it's nice to go back and look at some of the old matches. Uh, some of them are slightly entertaining. Uh, my favorite wrestler of all time is a really hard question. But I'd have to go with the Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin, because Drew Scott said so. What do you think about that? All right, but anyway, yeah, he, he, he was just so goddamn entertaining. Uh, best era of wrestling besides the uh, early 90s, late 80s. Uh, anyway, Ryan Klosterman wants to know when the best place to go and when is where the best place to go is. where the best place to go and when is uh and so far uh pretty much the goodwill in harrison ohio the one by my house on saturdays and wednesdays because saturdays and wednesdays are usually when everything's 50 percent off and they've constantly got a great selection of movies uh, i found a lot of the toys that you might see in some of my backgrounds i found a lot of those at that goodwill uh, another great place to go is there's an Ohio Valley Antique Mall. Now, some of the prices up there aren't uh, as nice as I'd like them to be, but some of the vendors, you know, they've got decent enough prices. Uh, damn it. Okay. Oh, my God. No, stop it. Uh, Wolf Myers wants me to do uh, my best Steve... Irwin impression, especially for him. Well, crikey, look at that bloke over there. I can't do it. I can't. It's been so long. Crikey. Crikey. Look at the size of that thing. Is it close? It's close. Crikey. Look at the size of that thing. Don't know if it's Talking about my female. penis. No, I'm kidding. Look, I'm kidding. it's male or female. I have to stick my finger up his bum. I stick his finger in his bum? No. But yeah, that's the best I could do. I used to be able to do it really good, believe it or not. I was really good with impressions. Uh, Zach Hall says, find wild hogs and sacrifice yourself for them. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're talking about John Travolta, Martin Lawrence, uh, Tim Allen, Tim Allen uh, what was his name? Fargo. 
Dudley. Uh, Steve Buscemi? No. Oh. Fucking big-eared motherfucker. What? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It oh, doesn't matter. Macy, Macy. William William H Macy. H. Macy. Uh, yeah, I have Wild Hogs. That came out when I was working at the uh, theater. Uh, it's an underrated comedy, actually. Uh, very funny movie. Uh, pretty decent performances. Uh, you know, I like it. I like it. It's one. Of, it's a, a, technically a guilty pleasure. I don't know. I don't know. It is, I don't know. Anyway, on to the next topic. I don't even know why the fuck I'm doing this. Like, why would I be doing like a and a while I'm going out into the wild looking for stuff? This video is, this video is going to be like five hours long. Uh, best deal hunting. The best deal hunting, I guess, are you talking about like what the best deal I ever found was? Because that would be my Boglin from 1987 in the box with the secret trick-or-treat bag for $3. And it sells for $200. And I'm never going to sell it. I'm going to be buried with it. Uh, and Brad Thornton wants to know how to explain a long receipt to your significant other. Well, see, uh, you want to try your best to have cash whenever you can that she doesn't know about. And then that way she doesn't look at your account every hour, you know, to make sure you're not spending money at the Goodwill. Just remember to I hide not my... leave it folded up and left on the coffee table for her to find later on. There you go. That's a good answer. Quite often. And then the last one, the last one, and then we're gonna cut this off until we get to the mall. Then I'm gonna go to the Asia Buffet and I'm gonna get some lo mein. Uh, but anyway, damn it. I gotta get this thing back out. Brandon Jackson wants to know my favorite music genres. Uh, well, I'm a stickler for the oldies. I grew up listening to Elvis, Dion and the Belmonts. Uh, stuff like that and then I gravitated towards uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival Boston Guess Who stuff like that and then once I found Black Sabbath it was over alright everybody it's getting dark outside it's scary there's no more room in hell and the dead are walking what the hell are these people doing over here they're going to ruin my ambiance but look at this look at this it's prime time on a Friday night, and there's literally, look at it. I don't know what those people are doing over there. I'm trying to get the last of the Babies R Us stock. Anyway, that's the, it's not the Dawn of the Dead ball, but it could be, it could be. Close enough. What do you see the inside? It's creepy as fuck. Anyway, I'll see you inside. I thought you were going to do, I remember. Hopefully. I remember. I remember. Don't worry. How could I? Never mind. Don't worry about it. Anyway, hopefully there's no zombies walking around in here because uh, I don't have nothing to defend myself with. I have my keys. But yeah, I got a, I got a big old bag of movies, all my duplicates, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trade them for other movies. I think I had a booger in my nose. Uh, but I might just go ahead and use that one so I don't have to take Sarah's tongue back out and do all the bullshit. Anyway, this is Cincinnati Mills. Cincinnati Mall. Cincinnati Mills Mall. Cincinnati Mall Mills. The, 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 there it is, Cincinnati Mall. It used to be Forest Fair Mall. Now it's an abandoned uh, relic of the past. Go up 
walk around the top after you. But anyway, this used to be the best mall in Cincinnati. There was a roller coaster, a Ferris wheel, all kinds of fun stuff in here. But now and look at it. The owners just, uh, they don't want to make, I don't know if they don't want to make money or what, what the They can't is. make money here. It was poorly thought out area to put them all. Yeah, there used to be a movie theater. I mean, this, if Dawn of the Dead were to happen, this would be, this would have been the perfect place to go. It has the food court, which is right up here. It had a movie theater. Uh, didn't have a gun store. Actually, that's not true. That's not true at all. Uh, one of the other stores that's actually still in business Outdoor is a Bass Pro shop. And they sell guns there. So yeah, this would pretty much be the perfect mall if it was still in operation. If the zombie apocalypse ever happened, this is where I would have came. Anyway, we're almost there. We're almost there. Come As on. you can see, it's very jumping and hopping with the lack of lighting. The whole reason I came here is because Wednesday night they had a movie night and they were watching Deadly Friend and I messaged Jesse and I said, hey man, I need that movie, save it for me. And what you know, it, they can't fucking find it. So I drove all the way up here just to buy a bunch of crap I probably shouldn't have. But uh, you know, I'll gladly show that to you when I get back to the house. I don't know if I'm going to show you all the stuff I filmed today because I don't want this to be a 45 minute video. I just, you know, want to get straight, sweet, simple, and to the point. So, you'll get what I give you and you'll like it, okay? Look at this. Little does she know I'm following her. I'm going to follow her all the way home. <laughs> Go!
garbage day. Let me know if you get that reference in the comments section below. <laughs> okay, here we are. I don't know what all uh, I showed you because there's a bunch of crap I filmed. And who knows what's going to make the cut. But that, none, of that, none of that's important. What's important is what I found in the wild. And let's get to it. Now, the first two things I'm going to show you were... Uh, found a little bit ago but you know I only got one thing each time so it was like I'm not gonna make a video for this but the first thing I was at Best Buy looking around and I actually found the Halloween box set for $40 and Sarah wouldn't let me get it which is sad because now it's $80 on fucking Amazon but anyway I got big trouble in little China for uh, what $5.99 and look at how fancy Look at how fancy it looks. I mean, you know, it's just a regular old Blu-ray underneath. But I love this slip cover. I guess Best Buy does their own little fancy art slips. Blah, blah, blah. Just like Walmart did this fancy little art slip for The Shining. Uh, yeah. I had this on DVD, but I needed it on Blu-ray. So, like I said, hopefully this is good quality. Uh, these movies don't really need introduction. Everybody loves Big Trouble Little China. Everybody loves The Shining. So, uh, yeah, I got this one at Walmart uh, that day that I uh, went against my better judgment and went to Walmart. Now, today I paid full price for this stuff at Goodwill because I wasn't going to wait for tomorrow and then have it be gone like the last time I went, wanted to get a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I got this for my babe. Because uh, I've never seen it. I'm a big fan of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. But I, I never liked the Flying Circus or other stuff. So I, I never watched their other movies. I mean, my mom had me watch Monty Python and the Holy Grail a long, long time ago. But I got The Life of Brian. Uh, so, I haven't seen this. Uh, hopefully it's as good as uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So, uh, yeah. Got that for $3 at the Goodwill. All right, then check it out. You got some Jean Claude Van Damme, fucking Universal Soldier. Uh, even though this is on Prime, I figured I should have the physical copy. I have not seen this movie since like 1994, so looking forward to watching this. Then maybe one of these days I'll sit down and have a Van Damathon, and I'll go ahead and rank all the. I haven't done a ranking yet. I'm probably going to do the ranking on my Romero series here after I watch Survival of the Dead. Because, you know, I figure why not copy off of the greats and just, you know, do ranking videos. Even though mine are going to be half, mine are going to be half-assed. I'm only going to put minimal effort into it. And you're going to deal with it. And you might like it. You might like it. Uh, don't laugh, okay? But my third Goodwill pickup. Is that crazy? Patrick Swayze, Dirty Dancer! Yeah! Patrick Swayze! I got this for uh, Bubbles. Uh, if you don't watch Trailer Park Boys, uh, unsubscribe to my fucking channel, okay? Until you've watched Trailer Park Boys. I don't want none of you fucking people subscribing to my channel and you don't watch Trailer Park Boys because, you know, it's the greatest thing to ever happen to television, ever. Uh, and if you disagree, you're wrong. Uh, anyway. We're not here to talk about that. Alright, look. See, I got my R2-D2 bag. It's filled with goodies. I took a bunch of crap with me. I'm probably sure I already mentioned this earlier in the video. I took a bunch of crap with me and traded it for this stuff. I got $26 in store credit, and I still ended up spending $36. But, you know, that's somebody else's fault but mine. Alright. What do I want to start? Let's start us up. Let's, let's switch from the movies. If I can find the goddamn thing. There it is. Check it out, everybody. Thanks to Joseph for getting me that PS4. Now, I've got Resident Evil 7. And we're going to give that a nice little playthrough here soon. Uh, I've been stuck on The Witcher 3. And when I first started The Witcher 3, I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this game, but now I'm fucking addicted to it. So hopefully I can go get addicted to this because The Witcher 3 is starting to fucking frustrate me. Uh, now, they had... The Steelbook edition, but it was forty dollars. I figure eighteen dollars. That's 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 more my price range. Even though that's still kind of out of my price range. 
I was gonna do these in some sort of order, but fuck it. I already had this, but I didn't have it on Blu-ray, and I needed it on Blu-ray. So I got now I got the first three on Blu-ray. This is the only one I really give a shit about. Uh, maybe I'll watch this for theme week since it's uh, in the woods. But yeah, wrong turn. It's pretty underrated. Now, the sequels I could do without, but yeah, I love the first wrong turn. Even though Elijah Dushku is a terrible, terrible actress. But she's nice to look at. All right. Oh, one of Stallone's best movies, one of the best prison movies on the planet. This would definitely be on my top five prison movies of all time. Uh, a lot of people want to say, like, The Shawshank Redemption and The Green Mile, which those are flawless masterpieces of movies but this is more up my alley shit like this and then there's a bunch of other prison movies from like the 80s and 90s that I can't think of but yeah if you haven't seen Lock Up with Sylvester Stallone excellent excellent movie he's in this minimum security prison and then uh, Donald Sutherland's a cocksucker and he's got some kind of problem so he has him transferred to his maximum security prison and then they they, 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 they they fuck with him. And it's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful movie. And it's the type of movie that you don't really see anymore. That, ooh, look at that! Alright, well, check it out, man! Fucking Young Guns, man. Fucking, what's he say? Fucking... Shit. I can't remember. I can't remember, but this... Is a great movie. I still need to get the second one. I don't ever remember if I've ever seen the second one. But I wish I could remember what the hell they said when they were tripping on peyote. Something about spirits. I don't I don't know. But Young Guns. If you haven't seen Young Guns, one of the best westerns out there. And you know, it's got Emilio! And then Sarah made me get this. Because it was only three dollars, but I remember I started to watch this and I, I I turned it off like a half an hour into it because it was god awful terrible. But hey, it's time I started reviewing not so great movies on this channel because for the most part, all the movies I review have been, you know, pretty good. You know, oh, check this out. Are you ready for this? Hold on to your butts. Seven dollars at this fancy steelbook of pitch black which i watched this my uh, junior year of high school we watched it in physics class for some reason but i didn't really pay attention i was doodling and stuff like that but uh yeah i'm definitely looking forward to giving this a watch because i've always wanted to see chronicles of riddick but i could never find this movie and you know i don't like buying stuff on amazon but yeah i got i got pitch black steelbook seven dollars i couldn't pass that up Alrighty, and then we were just talking about this the other day. Straw Dogs. I uh, I got the the, the DVD. I, I needed the Blu-ray. Uh, hopefully the quality holds up because some of the, some of the I, I've noticed some like basic Blu-ray copies, like my for instance my Last House on the Left Blu-ray copy is a terrible transfer. The DVD actually looks better than the Blu-ray. Sarah also made me get this because we uh, went against our better judgment a while back and got the bootleg. And she tried to watch the bootleg and I fell asleep. But uh, I'm going to give it another chance because everybody talks about how great it is. Uh, I'm not really the biggest M. Night Shyamalan movie. I mean, I, 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 I can admit that The Sixth Sense is a decent movie. But it's not my favorite. None of his movies are my favorite. Uh, but, you know... I don't, even, I don't even really necessarily... Don't get mad, okay? Don't get mad, but I don't necessarily like Unbreakable. The shit's kind of boring, okay? Nothing really happens. But, uh, you know, I'm all for, like, watching it again, maybe, just to just to be sure. But, you know, we'll see if that happens. Uh, hopefully this doesn't go on too long, because if this is going on too long, I might not add in all the fancy stuff that I was going to add in. We'll save that for another video. Oh, I got lights out for five dollars. I haven't seen this yet. Can you fucking believe that shit? Like, I don't understand how I haven't seen this movie yet. And 
I've always heard good things, but recently I, I heard a couple people say that uh, they didn't like it, which I don't know. Did you like Lights Out? Let me know. Like, leave an actual comment, an honest to God comment, because I'd like to know. Oh my God, it's the last one. I got this one specifically for my buddy Lee McCoy because I knew he'd be excited, even though I wanted the fancy steel book they had at Best Buy like a year ago. But I got it follows for five dollars. I mean, you can't beat that. That's the thing about Arcade Legacy. They got excellent prices on everything. They had a whole stack of Criterion Blu-rays that were like fifteen dollars a piece. And I mean, none of them were anything that like floated my boat or tickled my fancy, so I didn't get them. But rather than ramble the fuck on, like that's that's everything, people. Hopefully, that was good enough. And, you know, hopefully I can fit as much as I can. Otherwise, you know, today was a big waste of time because the real reason I went all the way out the art, the real reason I went all the way out to Arcade Legacy is because Wednesday night I actually posted in Killer Flicks that Arcade Legacy has a movie night and they watched Wes Craven's Deadly Friend. So I messaged him right away and said, oh, I wish I could make it out there for that. But I'd love to buy that if uh, you know you're not keeping it. And he's like, "Oh, it'll be for sale after we watch it." Got up there, he wasn't there. The guy working said he didn't know where it was. I messaged him. He said, "Oh, it's in my little cubby hole. It wasn't there. It wasn't back where they watched the movies. It wasn't on the shelf. And this shit's out of print too. Fucking twenty fucking dollars. Jesse probably would have sold it to me for fifteen if he could find it. Hopefully, he could find it." Because, God damn it, I haven't seen that movie since 1993. Something like that. On Joe Bob's Monst Joe Bob Riggs Monster Vision on TNT. That's the last time I saw Deadly Friend. Okay? And it was edited for television. So, I didn't get to see the basketball scene. Anyway, I am so sorry for rambling on. Hopefully you've made it this far. If you have made it this far, be sure to like the video. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Ah. I'm just, just help me out here, will you? I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I mean, not really. I mean, but one of these days I'm gonna try harder. I promise. The, 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 the don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Jesus Christ. Probably gonna be a fucking hour long fucking video.